Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to another Blu-ray hunting video. We're back going local today. The last two episodes we've been away for the two weekends. Uh, this weekend we're, we're going local, so should be a good one hopefully. Uh, we're doing Newport. Uh, they have a CEX there in Newport and a few charity shops. Um, the CEX show has been really good for me over the last like few months and stuff of doing this. So I'm hoping we can pick up some good things in the, in the, um, the CEX here. And then on the way back, I'm going to stop off in Cumbran where they've got a CEX and the big one HMV. I plan on, HMV plans to be a big one today. Um, this is the only Blu-ray hunt really this side of Christmas. Next weekend and then the weekend after is like Christmas. So next weekend is going to be really busy for me the week before Christmas. And then the weekend after is Christmas week itself. So it's going to be really busy. I don't think I'm going to be able to do a Blu-ray hunting video. Also, I've got so much other videos planned. Like I've got to review so many Christmas films and I want to review all the Matrix movies before the new Matrix comes out that I've kind of got a lot of videos planned anyway. So I can't really fit in a Blu-ray hunting video even if I wanted to. So yeah, it's just a busy month of films, which December always is anyway. And I'm busy in general, so I haven't got time to, to go shopping anyhow. So it's one of those things, but we're gonna make the most of it today. I will be picking up things over Christmas, online pickups, that stuff doesn't stop. Um, I'm also, you know, gonna be looking on, you know, deals and sketcher like I, like I always do. Um, and sometimes if there's stuff in store, then I will go and pick it up if I can. But what I mean is I'm not going to be able to find time to just go out for three, two, three hours shopping for Blu-ray hunting. Um, I will be shopping, of course, for like Christmas um, and I might find a movie and pick it up. But you guys will see my obviously what I pick up in the entire month as well as my Christmas gifts in my December haul video. So um, I would stay tuned for, for that, uh, you know, coming up. I will also be away over New Year's Eve. Uh, again, I'm going away for New Year's Eve. I'm going to spend some time in Bath. I may not have time to film a Blu-ray hunting video, but I really want to check out the stores when I'm there. Um, so that may be like the next Blu-ray hunting video after this. If I can, I may fit one in after Christmas, like maybe go shopping on the 27th, 28th. May fit one in then. It just depends. So just stay tuned for it. Be patient. But there may not be one for a while. However, we are now going to head down to CEX, find out what we can find. Um, not really looking for anything in particular today. Um, everything really. Uh, Blu-rays, uh, 4Ks, everything and anything. But as I say... I'm not really looking in CEX stores today. I don't really, if I find like a bargain or something I've been looking for, great. But I know in HMV is where I'm gonna wanna buy one or two bits and bobs. So we're kind of waiting for that, uh, really. Um, I've got a bit of time, I've got three hours. I've got to, I've got to head to, uh, we're going to cinema later. We're gonna see Encanto again. So that's happening. Last night I went to see West Side Story. Fantastic, my review is up if you missed it. Um, and tomorrow we're actually going to see Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows part one and then part two straight after. So it's going to be a bit of a lazy day in the cinema watching two films. But I'm really excited to watch the newest Harry Potter films in the cinema. Um, just because they're going to look amazing, I think. So should be good. Uh, that's my weekend though. Let's go Blu-ray hunting and see what we can find. Okay, let's go to CEX here in Newport. Very, very excited. As I said, this is going to be a good one. It's actually an upside down Christmas tree there in the, in the window, it's really strange. First film I'm seeing though is the number one and it is 127 hours. This is a film I've never seen to be honest with you. Uh, it's nominated for a lot of Academy Awards and stars James Franco. But yeah, I've never seen this. Um, I didn't pick it up, spoiler alert, but you know, um, let me know your thoughts if, uh, if you've ever seen that. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man, obviously, this is a nice slip cover on here if you are looking for a standard Blu-ray, but this does come with a 3D version. Very nice looking. That's actually damaged there on the, on the left, but uh, it's nice looking. Uh, I've done a revisited on this though, so check that out. Uh, I've also then got Avengers 4K. This is the four movies, uh, and I believe this is for £32, which is a great deal for four movies. Uh, very, very good deal there, £8 each. Then we've got Back to the Future for three movies for £40. So this is quite expensive. Um, but yeah, Back to the Future trilogy set there for £40. And I do like this box set. I own this myself. Then they've got The Godfather, which is another set of movies I've never seen. This is the trilogy. Uh, this is £18. And I think we get some, yeah, supplements um, as, a, as an extra disc there. But this is a nice addition. I think I've picked this up in here before. Um, kind of probably going to wait for these maybe until they go 4K or pick them up individually or whatever. But yeah, it's there. Uh, they've got a steelbook here, non-stop. This is £2, which is actually the same price that they sell non-stop in Poundland for, where I actually got my version. 
So if you want a steel book, then there's that for two pounds. And then we've got some Star Wars box sets here. This is Star Wars Clone Wars. Um, I think I've filmed this multiple times. This is seasons one to five. Um, so it's a nice box set if you are a Star Wars fan, although it is incomplete because there is actually seven seasons of, uh, of Star Wars Clone Wars. So it's not a full complete collection. Uh, and then the final thing here is the 55th anniversary of Spartacus, which is a movie I've never seen. Uh, stars Kirk uh, Douglas, but it's also on 4K, this is. Um, I'm in an honor about getting this on, on, the, on the standard Blu-ray, but yeah, I want to see this. I'm here then in Cumbran now. Uh, Newport was a success, two pickups. Uh, I've just arrived at Cumbran now. This is the big one, uh, CEX, as well as um, HMV. So we're looking for some stuff. I'm also looking for some Christmas presents because my mum and sister were asked me like what I wanted for Christmas. So they did say like, you know, when I went out this weekend, have a look and pick up something and then give it back to them. So if I do pick up something, I'm gonna like not include that in this video um, because then that'll be my Christmas gifts haul video. So um, stay tuned for that after Christmas because obviously I'm gonna get them, but I'm not, they're not gonna be mine until Christmas. Um, I do love that when people do that. They're like, you know, what do you want for Christmas? Just go and get it yourself because you know, you can't go wrong with a gift. And when you get to a certain age, you kind of want the right stuff rather than, you know, waiting for a surprise, you know? So, uh, so yeah, let's go uh, now to HMV. First door then, here we go, HMV, really busy. Obviously Christmas, everyone's out and about getting gifts and stuff, but let's head straight into HMV, which by the way, is really busy as well. I will say that. Uh, straight away, I'm seeing some 9.99 deals. These are obviously the new Spider-Man movies, uh, the MCU version ones anyway. They do have Spider-Man 2 here uh, on 2 for 24, as well as uh, Spider-Man 1. So you could get, you know, your trilogy there for a bit cheaper, as well as the standard movies individually for 9.99. Uh, I saw Fury here, which is a nice looking standard edition. I really like the slipcover on this movie. Then we've got Shawshank Redemption, which is still a movie I'm yet to pick up. Um, I was debating this for Christmas, but you know, undecided, 20 quid. Uh, looks really interesting. I really need to see this uh, soon. Uh, we've got some, obviously the Marvels are on two for 24 as well. So here we've got Thor, um, but you can also get, I guess, the second one, Thor Dark World, and also Ragnarok is there. But they're still on offer right now. Uh, there's another 9.99 in here for A Star Is Born, which is, I, I think, because Lady Gaga's in House of Gucci. So, you know, that's why this is in 9.99. Good pickup if you are looking for this though for $9.99. It's a great movie. Uh, and then, as I said, the 2 for 24s have the Marvel, but also some Disney stuff as well. So Soul is still on 2 for 24, as well as some Fox uh, movies, which is like the Predator year for 2 for 24. So yeah, nice to see that, stale, that sale is, sorry, is still on. So yeah, it looks good. Let's jump over though to CEX now, um, which again, is busy in here as well. It doesn't seem, you know, there seems to be people surrounding the area, but I'm seeing a Star Wars uh, Skywalker Saga box set. I've never seen this. This is the standard Blu-ray one, but that's 38 pound. Then we've got some Star Trek Next Gen generation series they got one seasons one two three and four i've never seen anything star trek so i have no idea what these are these could be old these could be remakes there's no, so much different star trek stuff so i have no idea what it is uh we have spiral though uh standard blu-ray on, on for eight pounds with a slip cover probably somebody's watched it once or twice it hasn't been out that long uh then we've got a complete collection of the police academy uh which caught my eye it's very yellow very bright but you know seven lots there 15 quid not too bad and then Oz the Great and Powerful, I was actually talking to this with Hannah, you know, about this, but it's basically like a prequel or like a sequel to Wizard of Oz. Never seen it, but it's, I'm sure it's on Disney Plus, but yeah, it's here. It's quite nice artwork actually on the front. Uh, then we've got a movie I've never seen. I like looking at these type of things. This is called The Outsiders. I think this may be a series. It's, it's like the complete novel collection. Not too sure. It looks like a series. Um, I guess it is two discs, but not too sure. A little look at the 4Ks here, although this store, actually the CEX store, just throws the slip covers away for 4Ks, which is annoying. Um, but here's some of the ones that they've got out and about anyway. Um, you know, some Marvel stuff there, you know, some Star Wars, Godzilla, etc. So, not too much. I also noticed the Doctor Strange cover looks very familiar to No Way Home, which, you know, I've never seen that before. And then Daredevil, this is actually 2003, but I didn't know it really, it actually stars Ben Affleck, which is crazy. So, yeah, that's there. Okay, so I'm back home now from Cumbran and Newport. Uh, literally just got in. Um, and let's take a look at what we got. I had to, I was forced to buy a tote bag today because they didn't have no other bags. But I, I have tried with a CEX bag, but I always forget to take it with me. Uh, but maybe now I'll remember the tote bag. So I have picked up four 4K movies uh, for Christmas. So I will have to get those out. They are good ones. I'm super excited with the ones I did pick up. Um... Two are going to be off my mum and two are going to be off my sister. So 
thank you to those. Um, but you will see that in my Christmas haul video when I when I get around to that. So, so I'm just going to put these aside, and you know we'll see them closer to the date. But I did pick up one 4K for myself today, and two Blu-rays, three Blu-rays. Is it three? Yeah, three Blu-rays. So we have got some stuff to get into. One 4K from HMV and three Blu-rays from Kex. So we'll get into those in a second. Uh, I'm just looking at my bag now for C from, from HMV and they've given me like two little booklets. His master's choice. That's yeah, quite cool. I'll have a little look through that. That's a film I wanted to see actually. That film there, yeah, Supernova. I wanted to see that. Anyways, got some books there. And then the bag itself, which the bag was three quid. You know, I was forced to buy it, but you know, it's a nice bag, I guess. His master's voice, 100th anniversary bag, you know, supporting them, I guess. So I'll put all that there. Let's get into the four pickups. Um, I'll start with the CEX in Newport we went to first. I picked up two Blu-rays in there. I was on the prowl today looking for some bits and bobs, and I found one movie I haven't seen, similar to Pulp Fiction I bought last week in Bristol. This is an older movie from 1998 that I have never seen on Blu-ray in CEX ever. And it's three quid. I thought, you know what, I want to do this and I will definitely be watching this uh, series when I get them all back, all in. So, uh, yeah, that movie is Rush Hour. Now, if this ever came on 4K, this would be a must-have pick for me. Um, it has got some stickies down the bottom, uh, but on the back it's also got some like, charity stickers as well, and up there as well, but I can get all that off. But three quid, so I'm not, not too bummed by that. I like the spine as well. I'm hoping like if I get the second one, it's going to be like a different colour and they're going to line up. I think it, it looks like it should. But yeah, Rush Hour, amazing, funny film. I haven't actually gone much comedies really in my collection. And this is like a, a flat out classic. I remember having the, the trilogy box set of this off the DVD uh, way back when. And um, yeah, this is going to be a must watch, rewatch definitely. The first one, I don't think people watch as much. Most people think like number two and three are the best. Um, but they're all as good for me. So yeah, I thought for three quid that was a no-brainer. As I said, hopefully now I can keep my eye out for number two and number three, and then hopefully they'll all line up and stuff. But if this ever came on 4K, like this trilogy, I would hands down just go go out and get it. So uh, yeah, I love this. Uh, I love this trilogy. So Rush Hour is the first pickup there for three pound. I thought I had to get it. Another pickup which was three pound. So I spent six pound in the first store. And this is a TV season. I don't tend to buy TV seasons. Uh, this is season two. Um, and it's season two of Star Wars Rebels. Uh, this was three quid. I'm a massive Star Wars fan. And I've been having an on about buying these because I watched them all on Disney+. Plus. Um, but anything Star Wars, I kind of want to have it physically. Um, I did film the Clone Wars uh, box set. But the box set for that is incomplete. They only got seasons one to five on disc. And then season six didn't come on disc. And then season seven is a Disney Plus exclusive original season. So it's never going to come on disc. Well, as far as we see. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to get Clone Wars because unless I can get it all complete on discs, then I'm not going to bother. Rebels is a finished season. It goes up to season four. Um, so it's never going to be... like I, I, They could continue on Disney Plus, but, you know, chances are they probably won't. So, yeah, this is uh, an old season because it was on Disney XD, which was like one of the old Disney channel. Um, like I think it was like a boy channel, like more of an adventure channel. They were like doing gender-based channels once upon a time, believe it or not. <laughs> Can't do that nowadays. Um, but yeah, season two, it's a triple disc. Uh, unfortunately, no artwork, just all blue discs. But um, it's got eight episodes on one disc and then... Yeah, it's, it's a good season, basically. I I really like all the animated Star Wars stuff, so I'm going to be keeping my eye out for seasons one, three, and four now. So that was that was what I had to get. So that was the first Keck store in Newport. It's always been great in there. It's never let me down. So season two of Rebels and then Russia or one. So I'm happy with those. Next then, I went into HMV. Um, I went there first. I was going to go to Keck's first, but I decided to go HMV first. And I, as I said earlier, I picked up four 4Ks for Christmas. And then I looked at the, the like the nine ninety nine stuff um, for myself, and I picked up one uh, nine ninety nine, and that is uh, a Star Is Born. Now I actually own this on Blu Ray. Um, I think it's uh, brand new and sealed as well. But this is going to be a straight swap and an upgrade uh, for a tenner. I just thought I might as well get it. It's probably down to nine ninety nine because Lady Gaga's in the new House of Gucci movie, so that's why. So very very happy to have this pickup. Um, as I say, an upgrade. So it should be. It should look good. 
Um, the Blu-ray actually had a Dolby Atmos track, but the 4K actually has a Dolby Atmos and a Dolby Vision track. So I kind of am getting that like double Dolby update, and I just thought, you know, for a tenner, I uh, I may as well. They had things like the Matrix, they had the two Spider-Man movies, they had Gremlins, and they had Tenet, and I've got a lot of those movies. I think the only one I haven't got is Gremlins, um, but Star Wars Born is one that I hadn't didn't have in 4K. So I chose this one instead. So three pickups in so far. Then we went to the last CEX store, and this was like a terrible CEX store, really. There was hardly anything there in Combran, and, and I've got to be honest, it's one of the worst for like the 4Ks, because they actually throw the 4K slip covers away there. Um, I remember trading my stuff in, and they said, yeah, we, we throw them away, so never again. I would literally just keep the slip covers and sell them on or give them away. Um, so I never tend to buy 4Ks, and you saw me film a few, but yeah, I picked up one Blu-ray, um, and... I then delved into season three of Rebels. Uh, they had season three there, no other what seasons, just this one. So I'm only actually needing seasons one and seasons four uh, because now I have seasons two and of course season three. I think this one comes with, uh, yeah, this is still three discs as well and it's actually 22 episodes on here. As I say, happy, I, I've said this in the last, I spoke about the season two, but now I'm gonna get seasons two and three. They're all gonna line up and look pretty good on the shelf as well with, they're all gonna be the same. And I think with these, because there's only four seasons, I didn't say this earlier, but majority of the seasons are like three, four quid on Kex. But one of the seasons, I think it's season four, is like eight, nine pounds. It's like a bit more expensive. Um, so to get all four, it's, it's not that bad. It's probably just under 20 quid or just over 20 quid. So yeah, this is a good season. I really like Rebels. It, it, I liked it more than Clone Wars because I felt like it had more of a story to it. And I really think they're going to be delving into a lot of the Rebels characters. We've already seen Ahsoka, obviously, in live action. And we've already seen uh, Sabine Wren on on something. What was she on? She was on something recent. can't remember what it was. Anyways, Sabine Wren was in something else. I can't remember what, what, what she was in. But, as I say, they I think they're really going to delve into these characters. Ezra, um, Kanan, you know. Oh, Bad Batch, that was it. They, they were in Bad Batch, the animated Bad Batch. Uh, as well as Kanan was as well. He was in there as a kid. So, I really think they're going to bring Ezra in. They've already cast Sabine Wren in some stuff. So, this is not going away in terms of these characters. And if anyone wants to watch it, obviously you can watch it on Disney+. Plus. But, I would recommend if you're a Star Wars fan and well, you've never seen this... Um, you should try this out. This is different to Clone Wars because most people's criticisms with Clone Wars is that it's, you know, it's one episode and then it doesn't follow into the next one because each episode is like its own story. And that's, the, that is the case for Clone Wars, like seasons one and two. From season three, it kind of then becomes a story, like each episode means something. But Rebels, every single episode leads on to the next one and it's a story and it's growing and growing and growing. And that's why I loved it. And I got more I got more love for this one than I have Clone Wars in a way. So yeah, these are the two Star Wars Rebels pickups. As I say, I'm gonna get all these um, when, I, when I can see them. So I'm happy to get these in. And um, we've got a 4K today for A Star Is Born for 9.99, great deal. And then we've also got Rush Hour on Blu-ray. So four decent pickups. You know, it, it. I've had better weeks, don't get me wrong. But, you know, you guys haven't seen what's to, my le to the left of me by here. The four Blu-rays, the four 4K Blu-rays I picked up for Christmas. So all in all, eight films bought today. I'm going to get the other four in like two weeks' time. So it should be good anyway. But um, I'm really excited to check those films out. You'll see that in my Christmas haul video, as well as all these titles in my December haul video, as well as all the other stuff that I've bought that you may not know about. So, yeah. But there it is, guys. There is today's Blu-ray hunting video. As I say, next week there may not be, there probably won't be a Blu-ray hunting video. And the week after, it may be a bit tight as well due to Christmas. But I will just be, I'm uploading videos every single day on this channel over Christmas because I've got so much like, movies to review and um, stuff to do. I'm actually going to the cinema now in the next hour to see Encanto again. And, um, you know, I'm just really busy watching films. This is the time of year to do it because there's loads of films coming out. Um, I saw West Side Story over the weekend. I highly recommend you check my review out. I didn't spoil anything, but I absolutely love the movie. So if, I would appreciate it if you could go and check my review out and show that video some love. But, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my Blu-ray hunting video for today. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon and of course, thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for more and i'll see you in the next one goodbye